up guys and welcome back to face over matter it is your girl Jay here and in today's video I'm doing a get ready with me um, I just felt like it was just needed you know just to kind of catch up with my people I've been gone on YouTube for about a month now and honestly we'll get into all of that a little later um, but yeah that's what today's video is gonna be not gonna keep the intro long let's just hop right into it if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe become part of the face over matter family let's get into it um, I'm starting off with this milk makeup primer you guys already know this is my favorite primer ever don't ever really want to use anything else this is so good but again today's not gonna be makeup focused as far as like us talking I just want to catch you guys up on what I've been up to and how life has been going and everything that's been going on so pretty much so I've been going for YouTube for about a month now and honestly it's not like I wanted to it's just kind of wow Avery it's just kind of um Hold on. Yeah, so I've been gone for YouTube about a month. It's honestly not that I wanted to be gone that long. It's just I have been trying to focus just a little bit more on my other platforms and just really get those going and growing and all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah. So speaking of that, if you're not, and don't mind this earring, like my, I thought this hole was gonna close up and I lost my other diamond. I don't know where it went. So yes, yeah, so if you guys do not follow me on all those platforms, definitely do so. I think it'll be great. and. You know, I know a lot of you guys are interested and, in, you know, in tune with my fitness journey and stuff like that. So that makes me really happy. So I've kind of dedicated my TikTok to my fitness stuff. And just that way I didn't overload my Instagram. I felt, I felt like at one point I was kind of overloading my Instagram. Sorry about that. But it is part of my life. My content is based around my lifestyle and just my everyday life. So because fitness is such a big part of that now, you know, it's kind of, a lot of what I do so I wanted to make sure I didn't overload my one page with that and honestly I thought about making like an actual fitness page but I wasn't sure yet I had got some mixed reviews about it because I did ask like a while ago I did like a little poll I was like what do you guys think I had some people saying yes do that and then some were just like no just you know we love your content here so just leave it here so I haven't decided I didn't make an actual fitness page there's just no content on it it's like face over matter fitness and honestly I didn't even know if that's what I wanted the name to be but I just again I just went ahead and named it that so I wouldn't lose it so yeah so I'm gonna be honest with you like going forward probably with my YouTube content I'm gonna be focusing more on like vlog related stuff and honestly I know my most recent content on YouTube anyway has been you know vlogs and fitness and stuff like that but I just wanted to say going forward it's probably gonna stay that way for the most part just because this year, Lord willing, I know I wanted to focus more on traveling. Be honestly, I just want to get out of the house a little bit, a little bit more. I just feel like I have spent year after year after year after year just being in the house and just being super just content with that, which I don't have a problem with. But there's just been a lot going on in my life that I just really wanted to catch you guys up on. And I think it's really important that, you know, you guys have been following me for a while. And I just kind of wanted to talk about and chat about and, you know, Again, you guys have been supporting me for years and I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along, you know, of what's been going on and what that looks like. So yeah, there's just been several things that's been going on in my life and there's just been some stuff that I thought, you know, was gonna break me, some stuff that I thought was, some stuff that I really thought was gonna be like detrimental to my life and just, there was just a plot twist, you know what I'm saying? There's just a plot twist and, you know, I'm just really happy with the way things are going right now. You know, obviously everything's not perfect. There are some, you know, some other things going on that, you know, I'm believing God for, but for the most part, I'm content, I'm happy, you know, I'm grateful. So I just knew, you know, the position I'm in right now, I just knew I wanted to do things a little different this year with my life. I wanted to be more intentional about showing up for the friends that have showed up for me, you know, for a perfect example, like my friend Sunny, you know, she has just been an amazing friend the past um, couple of years that I've known her. And she's been really just a really present friend. And and it's one of those things like we don't talk all day every day. <laughs> but whenever we do, it's always, you know, positivity, it's always love, it's always encouragement. And, you know, when we do make the time to see each other, we do, you know, she's been out here to see me. I've gone out there to see her. You know, I just came back from her place um the, uh this past weekend. And it was just an amazing time. And I just love 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 um spending time with her and and just going forward i want to make sure that i show up for you know all the people in my life you know not just friends but just family and things like that i just want to make sure i show up in those areas and really be there for people who have been there for me and you know for the longest time i just felt like i don't know i just always felt like 
I just had this thing over me where I couldn't really be who I wanted to be. I couldn't really express I couldn't really express what that looked like. I couldn't really articulate like what that looked like in my life. And again, I want I, and it's something that I've prayed about and I'm gonna be honest with you. I had consecration at church last year. I believe it was September or October. It was one of those. And it was definitely something that I had prayed about. I was like, God, like I want to be able to, you know, accept sisterhood. I want to be able to, if I'm gonna have friends in my life, I want to be able to show up for them how they show up for me. And it's and it was just a thing that was just hard for me to do. You know, show up for my friends, show up for people in my life. Um, I don't know, I just kind of felt like at one point I couldn't really embrace, you know, friendship the way I wanted to. And it's just one of those things, like as I get older, I'm realizing the things that I want in my life and like sisterhood and just, you know, solid friends, you know, I would love to have in my life. I'm not pressed about it, but I definitely feel like community and people who support you and love you, those types of things are important. So. I'm embracing the people that are in my life and I'm trying to show up more like Sonny and I have talked about it plenty of times because you know there was just vulnerable open moment there was at one point where Sonny kind of felt like you know I didn't want to talk to her and you know we had that whole conversation we sat and we you know cried on the phone because I felt so bad because I'm like not me dropping the ball on an amazing friend who's just wants to be in my life and I want to be in her life and you know and I and I felt so bad because I just wasn't showing up like that for my friends. And that was just something in me that I knew I needed to make a decision on, or not a decision, but I knew I needed to make like a conscious, you know, effort into being there for my friends. There's just been so many things that's just been happening like internally that I've just been trying to process and just again, make that effort to show up more. There was something that kind of occurred in my life in the past like month or so. And it really took me, it took me by surprise and it did like a little, it didn't do anything to me, but it definitely made me feel away. And I had to kind of reevaluate some things in my life on how I really felt about a lot and you know what that looked like going forward for me. And um, and yeah, and honestly, I thought it was something that was gonna like send me back into depression. I thought it was something that was gonna like really just kind of, I don't know, just really affect me really bad. And I'm gonna be honest, I gave myself a couple of days to kind of get myself together. And you know, with the help of prayer and you know, just crying out to God about it. You know, God really showed up for me in that way. And I'm telling you, when I went to prayer, I mean, when I went to church one Sunday, my pastor was like, do not let the enemy deceive you into thinking your healing did not happen. And it just, it just did something to me because literally in that moment, I was feeling like, yeah, my, my healing didn't happen. Like I spent all these years single and by myself and you know, working on myself and focusing on my career, focusing on bettering myself and my health, you know, did was that for nothing because of how I feel right now. And God had to literally show up and show me, no, I did heal you. No, what happened to you happened, but I did heal you. Do not let the enemy deceive you into thinking that didn't happen because it did. And ever since then, y'all, I have just been I've been different. So like when I get DMs or comments and be like, oh, you just look so happy and you're glowing, it's because I am and it's from an, and it's from the inside. It's something God has done to me here recently that has really just been like showing on the outside. Stop, Avery. It's been transforming me and I'm just so happy to be in the position that I am because I'm able to show up for my work with a clear mind and no heaviness. I'm able to show up for my friends without all that extra stuff. I'm able to show up for me and you know, I live alone, so it's like me being here, it's like I have to make sure that I can show up for me and I can be present and I can be present in the things that God has me to be doing. Again, like I'm turning 25 this year, so I'm just, you know, there's just a lot that's happening in the inside, um, like internally that I'm trying to discover. Like I got on live a couple weeks ago and I was talking about how, um, what does being grown look like to you? What does being a grown woman or a grown man, like what does that mean to you? What does that look like? Does, you know, what is it? So we had like, so if you guys wanna watch that, it's still up on the um, on my Instagram. Um, a couple of you guys got on and chatted with me, so that was awesome. But yeah, like we just talked about it and you know, I had the conversation with my mom and I'm just like coming, I'm just growing up. I'm just coming into some things. I'm just realizing some things as a woman and as a growing, adult who is on her own and who is handling things on her own and just living. It's just been a very interesting year so far. We're only in March, but it's just been such an interesting year. And it's been so far probably one of the best years I've had. Well, I'll just say three months, because <laughs> I want to say year, because we 
definitely are still in the beginning. So with all of that going on, I've definitely been in a really, really good headspace. I've been enjoying my my life. There's things at church that's happening. Um, you know, just just wanting to be in the ministry and be used and you know, whatever that looks like for the kingdom, I wanna do. And then, um, again, I wanna travel more, I wanna do things. Um, things are just really coming together and I'm just so happy and grateful and I'm really just trying to soak in what is going on in this moment. Like, I know there's so much happening in the world, but in this moment, I'm just trying to soak it in and embrace all of it. I'm trying to soak it in and embrace what that looks like and what that looks like going forward for my life. Um, you know, I can only kind of focus on right now. That's what I'm doing. So again, I'm being intentional about showing up for my friends that I have. I'm intentional about showing up for myself in a, in a better way and showing up for my work in a better way that just is just better. You know, it's just better. So I look at, you know, that purposeful isolation stuff I used to talk about. It's a real thing. Or, you know, or if it's one of those isolation things that's making you like want to pull away from everything, including God, it's probably the enemy doing something. But if it's like purposeful isolation, if it's God's isolation, then he might just be pulling you away from distractions. He might be pulling you away from people that are distracting you or, you know, people that might have it out for you in a, in a bad way. Like you just don't know. So, and it hasn't been pulling me away from God. It's been bringing me closer to God and it's, and it's, perfect timing like things are just coming together and I just really see God's hand and so much so again I'm just embracing like where I am in life right now and what that looks like going forward and consulting with God before I make moves with stuff and I just you know I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I need to be doing I'm trying to discover what it's like being a, a grown woman and what grown woman looks like for me you know but outside of that Avery is been doing good. She being a little spoiled brat today. I don't know what's going on with her. Was sick at one point. Follow me on Instagram. I did talk about how she ended up getting pancreatitis. So that definitely um, did a number on my baby girl. But she is back and in good health. She did have to get shaved, hence why she looks so skinny right now. I don't know if you could see her walking around in the background. And now, uh, but her hair will grow back. It's and plus the fact it's getting warm outside. So I'm sure she'll enjoy being a little naked right now. Speaking of dogs, I have been thinking about getting another dog, you guys. I've been thinking about it. I'm getting ready to move the camera because the sun is moving. There we go. So yeah, I've been thinking about getting another dog and I actually found one and I want him. Okay, I want him. I'm gonna be using this Milk Makeup Spray. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting this dog and I really, really want him, but like I am, of course, weighing out my options, seeing, you know, if it's a good move to make, if it's the right move to make right now and all this stuff. So I'm trying to figure it out. I might show y'all a picture, I don't know. Okay, this is him and he is a Cocker Spaniel and he's so cute and they've already named him. Again, I've just been trying to figure out like if I want him or if it's a good time to get him. And honestly, I've been going back and forth with it and it's just like, I don't see my life slowing down right now. So it's kind of like, there will be no perfect time to get him. You know, I don't think there'll just be a perfect time to get him. I think it's just get him and you just adjust. You do what you have to do to make it work. You know, when you do go out of town, Jay, you know, you just have to make accommodations for him. Just like I have to do with Avery. You know, it's easier for Avery because usually my aunt will watch her for me because I got her from the same litter that my aunt got her dog from. So she has Avery's brother. <laughs> so it's just easier that way. I'm just trying to figure out like what's gonna be the best move, but I really want him and I just feel like he'd be the perfect addition to me and Avery's little family we got going on here. And I don't know, because I have to, they told me I could put a 50% deposit down on him and then pay the rest when I come pick him up. Cause I'm gonna have to travel far to go get him. So I'm just like, and then Sunny said she'd come with me. So in my mind, I'm just thinking like cute road trip. See, I'm about to comb down my hair. So yeah, I really want him. And, I, and again, I think he'd just be a perfect addition to a little family, but who knows? If y'all just see a new dog pop up, then you already know what it is. Oh, and for another update, y'all, I still pressed my hair. So if y'all don't really, y'all don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, y'all missed it. I straightened my hair and I cannot believe I did it again. I found a beautician who specializes in natural hair, who took really good care of my hair. Very, very, very first time I got it straightened, there was a lady I went to and she was super sweet and she took really good care of my hair as well. But she's just really, really, really far from me. I mean, I would have to travel like two hours. 
like two hours and some change to get to her. And I'm just not, I'm just not traveling that far. Every time I want my hair done, which I would, but I did find someone who's an hour away. They actually live, they actually are, um, has their salon back home where I used to live with my dad. So it's like an hour drive. And then of course that gives me even more of a reason to go home, see my dad, see my family, stuff like that. Now I will say my hair is, I've had this for a few days now, almost a week. So it is getting to that place where it's a little oily. I've been working out with this hair. So she a little, she a little on the way to be stiff. She a little stiff. So I just, again, I wanted to, I wanted to silk press it just so I could get a nice healthy trim. And I know I didn't have to silk press it to get a healthy trim. It's just, I wanted to do my hair like this. I wanted to straighten it again. I enjoy my hair sometimes when it's straightened. I love my natural hair. I love my curls. But again, our hair is versatile and we can do whatever we want to do. I'm trying to like, see, it's it's weird now. It's just getting weird because it's, it's just time to, I don't know. I was asking you guys this morning on Instagram what type of like dry shampoo I could use. If you guys wanna see like the process of me getting it straightened, I have a whole reel on my Instagram. I'll link it down below if I remember. You know, this is literally like my everyday like makeup. I don't even wear my lashes like that unless it's like a special occasion. But this is the final look, you guys. Simple, sweet. I got a little, this little dress I have on is from H&M. It's just a cute little like tanky dress. You know, whatever, y'all can't even see the bottom anyway. That is pretty much everything I wanted to update you guys on. And again, I'll do another chit chat if you guys want me to, but that's pretty much like what's been going on without like trying to drop too much details. But just just know like I'm, I'm doing really well and I appreciate all of you who do reach out to me and who check in on me all the time and you know who you guys keep up with me and I appreciate that so I'm doing really good and I finally I can say this with confidence I feel like I'm at a I'm at a place where it's like I'm content with a lot I'm okay with a lot I'm at peace with a lot I don't know me just taking time to really be to myself was so needed and I mean I'm still doing that you know it's not like I stopped I'm still doing that but it's just like I'm recognizing like you know this time this intentional time of like healing and you know focusing on my career focusing on myself and loving on myself like all that stuff might sound cliche but it's so needed and if we want to you know if you guys want to talk about that in another video i'll definitely like do a dedicated video on that i don't mind but um i just know i'm good i'm good and i'm happy that i'm good and i'm happy to say that i'm good so Anyway, guys, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, oh, with like, did I even mention stuff about working out? Ain't nothing changed. We still in the gym hard. It's gonna be a year in June that I've been working out. So, oh yeah, my TikTok has all of like my fitness content. So if you guys wanna see like fitness stuff, head over to TikTok, that's there. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video.